Hi, this is Jeff with Cloud NC. Today I'm going to introduce you to cutting a three axis part using Cam Assist in MasterCam 2025. So I've got my part here on screen. It's an enclosure with an outer shell and an inner shell. And I've got it here set up in my work holding for op one. I'm going to be cutting this in op two ops with uh, soft jaws to hold op two. So for op one here, I'm just coming into my stock setup of my machine group and defining that and then hitting OK. I've also got the machine group already configured with a master model. So that is all I need to run Cam Assist. So I can come into Cam Assist and pick that red button. And I'm going to pick, first of all, my tool library. This is the tool database file that I'm going to run with. And I'm going to run with my material here. I'll pick aluminum. And I can just take a, take a quick check at these machine parameters. These are values that are from your machine that Cam Assist uses to calculate peaks and speeds. I'm going to run the machining mode in three axis. I need at least one setup. So there it is there for machine group one. And then I'm going to take a quick peek at my tools. There they are there. That's from that library. And under advanced, I want to make sure that all of my toolpath types are selected so that I can do the full machining on this side of my part. So now that's all set up, I'm going to hit run. And in the video here, we're skipping ahead a little bit in terms of the calculation. So this is the calculation on the cloud for Cam Assist. And Cam Assist is bringing back to MasterCam these toolpaths that I've just populated on the left. And then it'll take a bit more time to process. And then what happens is we get a confirmation box from Cam Assist at the conclusion of the cloud processing. And that'll be coming up very shortly. And then once that's run, here it is. It's got about half of the surfaces, which is what we'd expect because we're looking at half of our part. And then once we hit that OK button, the calculation in MasterCam takes a few moments. So we've got that all done now. And you can see that we've got a stock model being shown for our roughing operations. And I want to create a stock model for all of the operations so that I can use that in setup two or op two. So I'm going to create that stock model here in MasterCam and just pick a color so it's easy to see. And for my operations, I'm going to pick everything in that Cam Assist folder. So I'll hit OK there, and it'll take a few moments to calculate. Then it shows up in blue on screen here. And then using typical MasterCam methods, I'm going to export that stock model out as an STL. And then I'm going to bring it back into my file for my OP2. So I'm just going to save that into a location where I had my initial part so that it's easy to bring up later if I need to look at it in the future. So now what I want to do is look at my layers in this file and set up a layer for that stock model so that it can be on its own layer and be easy to manage or level, pardon me. So I'll merge and select my STL file that I just created. Here it is here and open. So because I went directly from this file and back in, it's going to be in exactly the right place. So I can just hit OK there. I don't have to do any transforms. And then I'm just going to check where it is in terms of my layers here or levels. And there looks like it's in this one here. There's where I want it. and. So I've got some levels here that I'm not using. While I'm here, I'm just going to clear those out. I like to keep my levels in a good hygienic condition so that when I come back, if I get distracted and come back into this file later, things will make sense. So now I've got my part, and it's going to go into these soft jaws. So I've created these soft jaws externally, but we're going to be incorporating a soft jaw designer into MasterCam very shortly, so stay tuned for that. And here is the um, uh, stock model in those soft jaws showing the top hat. So that's about what we'd expect. And there it is with the, the part in the, in the soft jaws. So that will be the end result after we've done all our, 
all of our machining. But first of all, we need to set up the soft jaws uh, as toolpaths so that we can cut them out. So we're going to come in to the toolpaths here and I'm going to make a new machine group. First of all, I want to just do some of that hygiene here and rename machine group one. I'm just going to uh, call it op one. So I'm going to come into the properties here, make a quick edit. I'll name it up one instead of up two. Up two is going to be later. And then I'm going to come and collapse that and just make a new group, new machine group, mill. And I'm going to, when this is created, call it soft jaws. So I'll have three machine groups at the end. I'll have an op one, my soft jaws, and op two. Of course, you'd probably machine the op one and then the soft jaws in that order. So because you might have to do a bit of cutter compensation and so forth on those soft jaws so that you're, you've got a good secure fit uh, for that uh, work holding. So I'm going to pick my uh, bodies here, my soft jaw bodies for both my master model and my stock as my bounding box. So that's ready to go. So it's treating it as one, one uh, body basically. And then when I run cam assist, I can use that soft jaw setup under three axis mode. I'm not going to change the tool library or anything there. And I'm only going to come into advanced here, uncheck a few of the tool paths that I don't necessarily need for soft jaw creation. So I'm just going to go with the roughing and, and finishing. I could have kept the facing on there, I suppose, but Probably not needed in this case. So now Camus is processing. We're skipping ahead a little bit in the video again here, but you can see that um, the processing is going to generate the toolpaths that we need, and it's going to give us a, a few more that we don't need. So that we're still going to save time by using Cam Assist because it's easy to delete off extraneous toolpaths and they're simple pocketing toolpaths and contours. So they didn't take that long to produce. But in MasterCam here, We'll just go in and tidy up some of those toolpaths that we don't need. So I'm going to take off the ones that are basically, basically cutting around the soft jaw bodies so that I only left with my pocket and inner wall finishing. An extraneous stock model here too. I'll just get rid of that. And so here are my completed soft jaw tool pass for the pocketing. Well, that looks about right. So now we're ready for op two, the final op to do the outer part of this enclosure. So again, I need a third machine group, which I'll call op two. I'll pick my master model. And for the stock model, I'm actually gonna once again, use that STL that we generated from op one. So it's going to use that as a reference file. So we've got that and I can come into cam assist and under my setups, I only want to do op three, pardon me, op two, the third op. And um, I want to make sure that all of the advanced settings for toolpath types are on. That looks all ready to go. Un under op two there, the selected plane should have actually uh, been bottom. So in the, in the video here, that was a, a little editing overlook, but we'll run with that. And so it takes, again, it takes a bit of time to process and it's gonna generate those tool paths. And once we have all of our correct tool paths put in and calculated through Cam Assist and MasterCam, we'll be able to run our verification. So since Cam Assist is an assistant program, we wanna make sure that we're uh, validating and checking the tool pass prior to uh, running them out so or posting them out. So what I'm going to do here is once this is all calculated, I'm going to check my verification in MasterCam to check that those tool paths are correct. Of course, I would have done this in a more step-by-step -step manner, but everything uh, here is going to be done at the end here. So I'm going to First of all, check my stock models on op, op two, and they look correct. I might have taken a bit more off of the top hat 
it with potentially a, a, another manual toolpath. But I think this will be okay. And then I'll check it using verify. So let's get that going. So there's the piece in the work holding with the soft jaws and we're machining the top surface or the outer surface of this enclosure. So everything, it looks about what we expect. And then one thing that we can do as well is uh, just double check that the verific with the verification on the, the two ops like this, since I've used the same model for both, we can run both at the same time or add to our verification to check that the outer and inner parts are what we expect in the output. So here's just a quick stock model of all of the operations. And here's our part again. And now let's look at our verification with both sides. So that was a quick introduction to three axis programming using Chem Assist and MasterCam and a very uh, quick preview of the soft jaw designer and the results that it can help get with a part like this. Stay tuned for more videos from us on the release of Cam Assist for MasterCam and other features that are coming in from Cloud and Sea.